This week, members of the banking and financial services industry were in Washington, D.C. at the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association conference. Also in D.C. this week, Wells Fargo CEO John Stumpf to testify before Congress. I'm Jeremy Greenfield, politics and commentary editor at The Street, and with me is Susan Antilla, an investigative reporter here at The Street who focuses on uh, the financial services industry, among other things. Welcome, Susan. Hi, Jeremy. Susan was at the conference. Tell us a little bit about what went down. Well, as we all know, Wall Street doesn't want regulations, and um, the usual drumbeat was going on um, with firms basically saying, we've fixed everything, the financial system is sound, we need to start rolling back regulations. I mean, that was the main thing that they were saying. And they, they justify it. Their new theme this year is to say, if we don't roll back some of these regulations, we're not going to have any economic growth. So you can look forward to seeing more of that sort of PR spin in the year ahead. Well, that wasn't what John Stump was saying on, on Capitol Hill this week. Um, he must have been a huge topic of conversation at the conference. Actually, Jeremy, I didn't go to every single one of these meetings, but I never heard his name mentioned. Okay. Um, maybe they didn't want to talk about it, of course. Um, and, you know, when we heard what was going on in the House Financial Services um, testimony today, you had politicians saying not only should he resign, but there's even a suggestion of breaking up Wells Fargo. And that is exactly what SIFMA, which is the acronym for this group, that's exactly the wrong thing as far as they're concerned. So they've got some real headwinds now in terms of accomplishing what they would like. But after the financial crisis, the tone you were saying was more conciliatory. Do you think that this current uh, crisis with Wells Fargo is different in any way than any of the other crises we've seen over the past few years? I do, in only one way. This was wrongdoing that, you know, my mother, who's 93, can understand. You know, I, I mean, I couldn't explain to her rigging LIBOR. You know, I couldn't explain to her the London whale. But she gets the idea of somebody opening an account in her name right. that she didn't. And, and I think that when you have politicians, you know, they only worry about their constituency if their constituency understands what the ripoff was. This is something that finally the general public understands. And I think that's what's giving it legs. Do you think that some of the attendees at the conference maybe were aware of what was going on while they were there, maybe watched some of it and thought, I could be there someday? You know, I have to tell you, I think there's a lot of self-denial in that group. Um, you do have a bunch of people who are not accustomed to, um, to, being, to being held responsible, and they're probably hoping that this is a one-off and it won't happen to them. Um, and I think probably, you know what? It probably won't happen to a lot of them for the reason that I said. If there's wrongdoing that affects the average person, that's the exception. And what do you think the tone at the conference might be next year, given what we're seeing now with Wells Fargo? Well, you know, a couple of years ago, I, I go to these meetings every year. And in 2013, the whole theme of the meeting was to gain back public pro trust. I've never seen that be the theme in the 20-something years I've gone to this meeting. They were just paranoid. They said, you know, the public hates us. They don't trust us. We have to win them back. They were very conciliatory in 2013. And then in the two years after that, in 2014 and 2015, they were just belligerent that they had to, you know, fight the Department of Labor against a fiduciary rule that they right. wanted to, to um, pass. And your question is a good one. I wouldn't be surprised if by next year they're going back to that, gee, we need to be nice to the public again right. stance. Um, you know, you've been going to these conferences for a very long time. You've also been very tough on the financial services industry. I, I think tough, but, but very fair. How do they like your presence at the conference? <laughs> they don't talk to me. And funny thing, when I ask for interviews with the bigwigs, I don't get them. <laughs> right. Well, thanks for going for us, and thanks for bringing that information back. And maybe later this week or next week, we'll, we'll have something from you uh, more about what happened at the conference. And thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm Jeremy Greenfield. This is Susan Antilla for The Street.